morning, everybody. We're here in Swift Current, Saskatchewan, on the southwest side of the province. We're gonna deliver one of these guys just down the road, and then we're gonna continue and go to Alberta. Come take along with me. And don't forget to subscribe, we make new videos every day. One less loader on my trailer. I'm gonna roll up these straps here. The next stop is Kindersley. Yeah, it's that uh, cultivator in the back there. Kindersley is about two and a half hours from here. When I got here, two guys had gotten here just before me. See, I try to be quick and others are still always quicker. Yeah. Ow. I like to be the quickest, the best, number one. That's tough because a lot of you guys out there are really good. And you set the bar pretty high, so I gotta try harder. So on these deliveries, they actually write the name of the town we're going to on here, which is awesome. So that's says Hannah. So no, that's not going to Kindersley. And this guy here, that's going to Kindersley. And you got Hannah, Atchison, Atchison, Atchison. These are the three boxes that go with Atchison. And the tiller, like we said yesterday, is going to Pinoka. Very important, before we leave town. And 500 meters to no, Karen, no, that's not what's important. That right turn is not, this right turn's important though. Timmy's, Timmy's, Timmy Ho's. Why do we keep stopping at Timmy Ho's? Nobody knows. Why are you parked here, bud? There's a whole parking lot right in there. You know, you could just come join us. We won't bite. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, 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 I haven't been here in a while. They have not fixed one pothole. That is awesome. Oh, familiar. Oh, oh, I like it when things stay the same, you know? So often you go places and everything's different. Sometimes it's just always the same and that's okay. in this pothole or stuck oh 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 yeah there we go we're good we're good okay our guys parking kind of responsibly so that I can get in there too I don't want to go in this big hole but oh no they're not oh, fantastic Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, wiggle around a little bit here so that I can uh, park. Shove my trailer out that way. Right. straight. Wonderful. Timmy's. The things we do for Tim's, right? The things we do for Tim's. I don't know why. No one knows why. Like seriously, it's like mediocre coffee. You have to add an espresso shot in it to make it actually taste like coffee. McDonald's has good coffee too. They're right across the street. Starbucks also has good coffee. And I just noticed something. Is there another Timmy's across the street? Here's the Timmy's here. You see that sign over there? On the other side of the highway, that's a Tim Horton sign. There it is. It's right there. 
Well, when did that pop up? And they just sprout like flowers in the springtime. It says, you get a Timmy's, you get a Timmy's. Oh, there comes another one. They just grow out of the ground. So we got one here and we got one literally right across the street over there. Huh. Not typical. Like I said, they, they're everywhere. Why? Why do I keep going back? I don't know. Tradition? I don't know. It's not even Canadian owned anymore, but every Canadian, it's like part of our patriotic duty to go to Tim Hortons. I don't know. It's a strange world we live in. Strange world. I'm gonna go get my coffee and just put my shoes on here. Huh? All right, I'm gonna get my coffee and we gotta hit the road. We got lots to do today. We're all set. Let's try to get out of here without like ripping our bumper off or something. Okay, so you got some pretty big bumps right here. We're gonna go around these. Okay, go around these. Which way do we wanna go? Uh, make a right turn. Tindersley, Saskatchewan. I'm gonna get this uh, cultivator. I believe that's what it is, small cultivator, right? Taking off my trailer, get them to sign, and uh, be on our way. I have a reload tomorrow in Edmonton at noon, so I have to try to get these all off my trailer. No later than early tomorrow morning, so. Gotta go. And we got rid of that thing. Just on the other side right there, you can see he just took it off over there. I just gotta roll up these straps. I'm not gonna bother pulling up the strap roller. It's just two. Quickly roll them up by hand here, and then we'll be off. Nice, quick, and easy. I like these quick and easy drops. There's two straps, you pull them off. They're out there like right away with their equipment. Get it off the trailer, check the serial number, sign it. I'm out of here. I'll be driving away less than 10 minutes after I got here. Like I literally just rolled in here. I love that. If the rest of them go this quick, then we'll get them all off today yet. Atchison's gonna take a little while longer because I have three pieces for this. I mean, Hannah is only taking two, and Atchison's taking three. Oh, and then I got the one in Pinocchio. Yeah. Okay, we got three left. And it's about noon right now. Uh, it's going to be close. I'm probably... 
know, I'm kind of just hoping to at least get all the way to Atchison tonight. If I can do Atchison tomorrow morning, that'll work perfect. That'll get me to my reload appointment by noon, no problem, tomorrow. I might actually have to sit around and wait. I'm gonna have to be careful with my logs because if I deliver Atchison first thing in the morning and I'm done by like 8 a.m., well, my, my load appointment isn't until noon while I'm sitting around all day. So I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. Use some of my brain cells that I got left. I didn't lose them all in my young adult life. Got a few left. And there's one last sign that crate on the end is gone now too. Now we've got these three going to Atchison with those three crates up there. And then the tiller on the other side there is going to Pinoka. I'm going to try to get that off today yet. We better go.
people do that every time. They hold off, hold off, hold off until you're like, okay, fine, you're not gonna speed up and take the lane, I'll move over. As soon as you move over, that's when they speed up. Like, why didn't you just speed up to begin with and get in front of me so I didn't have to move over, right? Every time. And there's my whining for the day, that's my quota. Hope you liked it. Hope it was satisfactory. Always gotta complain about something, right? Would it really be a full day without that? Oh well. We're here on, what did I say, Highway 2? This is Queen Elizabeth, the second highway between Calgary and Edmonton. We name it Queen Elizabeth the second because the Queen rode down here once. We have a Queen Elizabeth Way in Winnipeg too. Any road that the Queen, well, the Queen's gone now. Any road that the Queen drove down gets named after her. So I'm guessing when the King comes to visit Canada, if he comes to Steinbeck, we're gonna have to rename Highway 59 King Charles Highway. Oh, he'd probably take the he'd probably take the four lanes, so we'd have to rename Highway 12 King Charles Highway. Why don't we just name them both King Charles Highway? I wonder if he even knows Steinbeck exists. Probably not. Did you know it existed before you met me? No, you didn't. Don't lie. That's the point. It's quiet. We like it that way. What is this up here? What in tarnation? I better get in this lane before it plugs up. What is going on here? Must be something for the oil fields. You're coming up here in the right lane. Be past them right away. What is that? That sign on there says, danger, confined space. Really? That one's got hazmat in there, got some CO2. Interesting. In Alberta, you always see big, heavy equipment. There's a lot going on here. You know, Manitoba could be like this too. We got a lot of minerals and stuff in the ground, we just gotta dig them out and convince people that it's a good idea. I don't know why convincing people that, hey, we're gonna be rich if we dig this out of the ground is so hard to do. Like, hey, you like money? Yeah, I like money. Well, we're standing on it. Let's dig it out. Let's get rich. No, no, that's a bad idea. Oh, okay. I don't know what it is, but I keep running into the nicest receivers at these dealerships. I'm here in Pinoka. Got here a half hour after they closed down. I thought everybody was gone already, everything was locked. So I parked on the street and said, oh, I'll just wait till morning, right? It's gonna sound familiar to a few weeks ago when the same thing happened to me. One of their employees on their way out comes out the gate and comes to me and is like, hey, is that for us? How much you got? I'm like, well, I got one skid for you. I was just gonna deliver it in the morning. See, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not, I'm not gonna make you wait till the morning. Pull on in, we'll unload you right now. So the tiller is now gone on the other side there. Just got those three pallets up there. And these three buckets there, they're all going to Atchison. And I'll now be able to be in Atchison first thing tomorrow morning. I can get these off my trailer. And my reload is in Atchison as well. I think I explained that to you now already, right? And my loading appointment is at 12 noon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unload, well actually, I'm gonna have to be careful because I don't want I don't want my logbook to start clicking over too early, right? Because my loader or my loading appointment, my shipping appointment, pardon me, my appointment with my shipper, Hadid, is at noon. And now I'm gonna be the first thing in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wake up first thing in the morning and I'm gonna call the shipper and say, hey, I'm in Atchison. What do you think about loading me up early? And if he says no, you gotta stick to the appointment, well then, but maybe. I mean, I keep running into these great people everywhere. And remember the last time I was hauling these things? 
I, I, I did the same thing. I parked outside of the dealership and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna unload in the morning. And the guy comes out and says, hey, well, you just wanna unload that tonight? Yes, I do. Yes. In 100 meters, turn oh, Karen. Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for them to let me out. It's a locked gate because they're closed already. So he has to push the button. And he pushed the button once already for me to get out, but I was too slow. I had to go around the lot and turn around. By the time I got back to the gate, it was closed. And he went inside there somewhere. But he knows I'm here, so as soon as he pops his head out again, he'll push the button and the gate will open and we'll be on our way. I'm in no rush now, so. Feel good, you know? It feels good meeting good people, you know? You always see all the bad ones on TV. That's the problem with TV and the news. They'll show you all the worst people in the world, right? All the bad news, because bad news sells. There's a lot of good people out there. A lot of a lot of those good people follow me here. I know a lot of you are good people too. You've been following me for years and you've been very generous and helpful in my times of need in my life. I'm so thankful for that. But it's one thing this channel has taught me is that good people far outnumber the bad people. It's just the bad people are really loud, obnoxious, noisy, and they get on the news every day. And the good people don't. Feeling good. not because you asked not. Then again, I didn't even ask to get unloaded. He offered to unload me, but when he opened his window and was coming towards me, I was going to ask him, hey, would you mind unloading me today? I just got one skid. And if he said no, and if the, ans if the answer was no, I would have been okay with that. But most of the time, you don't have something because you haven't asked. You have not because you asked not. What's the worst they can say? No? Well, then it's no, and you accept that. But if you don't ask, it's definitely a no. center <laughs> look at me I'm at the petrol pass in Atchison and it was all filled up except for one spot I guess someone had just pulled out or something right front and center nice okay check on everything shall we oh someone already pulled in behind me that's okay People, uh, they always park behind all these trucks because, I mean, they're not in our way, right? We're going out that way anyway. And this place fills right up, so they use that as a parking spot. So there's three loaders on here now. One back here, two, three, and those three crates there. Those are being delivered just down the road, actually. Like, literally, around the, I pretty much see it. It's, well, trucks are in the way. I can pretty much see it. And then once I get these off the trailer, they open up at eight. Uh, once I get these off the trailer, then my reload is literally right around the corner that way. They're less than half a mile from each other. How perfect is that? So I'll go unload this, I'll go there, load that up, and then we'll head out and we'll stop at Sherwood Park Flying J. I'm going to grab some fuel there because Alberta's got cheaper fuel than Manitoba or Saskatchewan. We're going to fill up there and we're also going to have a shower and uh, clean ourselves up a little bit and then start making our way home. And this load that I'm picking up from here tomorrow uh, delivers to Ildeshane, which is right around the corner from our yard, literally right there. So it might be my week unless they have something for me to do because I'm going to be getting back. Today's Wednesday, so I'm picking this all up on Thursday. No, wait, 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 wait. Is it? No. It's Tuesday today. Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday which means that uh, 
I know it's all messed up because I, I don't release these on those days. I'm trying to give you an idea of my week here. So I guess I'll be leaving Wednesday afternoon, home Thursday night. Probably deliver Friday morning and then go home. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We'll see what happens. See what happens. But that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to be sleeping right beside this uh, very, very flammable neighbor of mine. Makes me a little nervous. I don't like sleeping beside tankers. I know. I shouldn't. Shouldn't matter to me. I, I just don't like it. But it is front and center.